Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Six months later, I can definitively say this is the best EDC bag of 2021. What is this bag you say? This is the Vertex Ready Pack 2.0 and it's better than everything else in 2021. Come at me, bro. Now, yes, I know there are other bags in the market. Go Ruck, 511, Tag, Nomadic, and the list goes on and on and on. But this bag here beats them all, and this didn't even come out in 2021. Let's talk about it. Now, first off, if you're the type of person that likes man cave stuff, EDC stuff, all that type of stuff, yeah, listen, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. We would love to have you a part of the battalion. Listen, this is your first time here. Thank you for stopping by. Now, there are bags out there that look better than this bag, probably hold more than this bag, but this is still the winner. Now, this is subjective. This is my opinion. So before you get all in your feelings down in the comments, just know that I'm telling you what I think, right? This is your first time on the channel. You can go back and look at some of the videos I made throughout the year. There's been a few bags I've gone through. 511 Covert, we have the Tag, big old tactical looking tan monstrosity. We got the 511 Amp. You know, lots and lots of different bags I've gone through for this year. But this one is the one that just keeps coming out on top for all around. I'm currently traveling and this is the bag that comes with me. I can bring it with me and knocks things out. Now, in order to be on my list for like an EDC bag of the year, there's a few things you had to hit. You had to be between 20 and 30 liters. You had to be tactical, but not very tactical looking. So the ability to go like gray man, like the bag had to be CCW ready and it had to have not too much micro organization. We'll talk about that here in a second. Let's jump right into this bag. The way that I'm gonna go over this bag is by actually showing you how I have it outfitted, showing you why I think it's the best um, and what I currently have in it. So first of all, Vertex does not list what this bag is made of. It is some type of nylon that is very apparent, easy to tell, um, you know, but it is pretty rugged and pretty durable. I'm not really sure exactly what it is. I mentioned this bag came out in 2019. That's true. Why is this the best bag for 2021? They came out with a lot of different colorways for 2021. This is called the Toy Soldier. You know, they came out with so many new colorways because this bag is so well made. All the Ready Pack 2.0s are built the same way. You just got to pick the flavor, pick the poison of color that you want. So on the very front here, we have a loop panel, which is two inches by about nine inches. Of course, you can stick different morale patches on there, whatever you want to put. You know, if you want to put a med patch on here, let people know that there's medical supplies, whatever you want to put on there. So it does have water bottle holders on the side, which I didn't know how insanely important that was for me until I tested out bags this year that did not have water pouch holders. So happy to have that. Now the water pouch holders themselves have these cinches inside, which are very nice because then you can expand and you can put some really fat bottles of water in this thing. You know, so if you got those 30 ounce, 40 ounce type of containers, this bag's easily going to accommodate those type of water bottles. So the Vertex straps, right? Pretty common straps for Vertex. They have this like air webbing. Let's see if you can see that. So it's like air mesh webbing on the straps itself. Lots of different options to where you might want to put the chest cinch, right? So you can move the chest cinch up or down. You could actually take the chest cinch completely off if you want to. And kind of does have the options to hook on. I have a hero clip hooked in here, which I use all the time. Has a little bit of leather on the strap here. So very very well made now the straps themselves do have the quick release function so you can unclip it here and once you unclip that then you're able to quickly drop the bag or if you need to quickly access the ccw pouch you can get in there we'll talk about how you get in there here in a second very back of the bag does have the vertex logo on the panel um, this is armor ready if you decide you want to put that on there this is kind of just like some raised nylon and it gives you a little bit of breathability in the back of the bag. Also, this back panel has an arm pass through. So if you do load this up with some type of, you know, arm or whatever the case may be, you can put your entire arm through this thing and use it for that pass through. Or if you want, you know, just simply set this entire bag on like some luggage. If you're at an airport, the very bottom has little waistbands and, you know, it's included with the purchase of this bag. 
which is a plus. First thing I did is stick these through the very bottom. They do have a built-in pass-through at the very bottom down here. I immediately stuck the waistbands, waist, uh, the waist straps through there because as I mentioned before, waist straps make me feel fat. So I put those in there and you can take them all the way off if you want to. I'll just choose to leave them on there just in case I ever sell this or decide for some reason I have a load that needs those you know, waist straps. So moving on to the front of the bag. So first let's talk about this admin pouch. The admin pouch, very easily accessed. In this admin pouch, I do keep some field notes, um, easily ac accessed right here in the front. I keep two, hopefully you can see that, two battery banks. One of them is powerful enough to charge my MacBook Pro. The other one is a little bit smaller and more slim as part of my all white EDC which is really good for charging other devices like my phone. In the very bottom of the bag in there, I keep some Scooby snacks, whatever else I might need, and an extra battery for my camera. So it does have a few of these little admin, little area here, got a little bit of chapstick. I have the tactile turn, bolt action pin, which this thing has been awesome. Now, one improvement over the first Ready Pack, they do have this new uh, zipper pouch with this this mesh is an upgrade from the uh, version one of this bag so it holds up really well to whatever you decide to stuff in there it's not going to get all abrasive overall you can stuff a lot of stuff in here uh, just in the admin portion of the bag now the outside of the bag has this grab handle um, that goes along with the strap right but you also have a grab handle which i use all the time when this bag is laying flat right imagine this is laying flat and you want to quickly grab it it is so nice to be able to just pick it up and go on about your business versus searching for the strap this is way more accessible this grab handle i love this thing and this here instead of the knock around sunglass pouch they made this top portion more expandable so if we go here we can see that once you zip this down this is where I keep my uh, iPad mini and I also keep a pair of headphones in there. These are the Bose 700s, but you can stuff whatever you want to in there. Here exposed, you got five rows of um, Molly piles webbing. You can put whatever you want on here, or this is actually another uh, loop panel. So you can actually put morale patches here if you want to as well. So if you want to put a med kit here, something like that, that will be a nice add on. So the reason that they decided to go with this expansion portion here so if you do stuff it with something really fat right so imagine you put a fat hoodie in here or something like that this will actually expand out which will allow for you to now use the zippers with that fat uh item that you put at the top there so you know so that is a nice nice to have one thing to note is if you do mount something up here, you're basically not gonna have access to anything that you put down here. So I normally usually keep this pretty simple with just my iPad mini pair of headphones. Now, before we jump into the main part of the bag itself, listen, if you're getting good content out of this video, make sure you hit that like button below. It lets YouTube know that they should be sharing this with other folks. Now, as we go into the main compartment itself, one thing I like is that this does not fold all the way down. I thought, I really thought that I was gonna hate the fact that this does not fold, fold all the way down. I thought I was gonna want something that went completely clamshell, but I realized that when this is like sitting, you know, on the floor, like between my legs when I'm traveling or something like that, if I were to inadvertently unzip these, the fact that they only go to the water uh, bottle pouches is great because I don't have to worry about this opening all the way up at an airport or while I'm traveling or something like that and my stuff just spilling all out. So that actually has become a plus. You can take this little strap here, it's in the front, and you can actually leave this zipped up, put the strap at the very top there. And when this is completely zipped up, do this, show you real quick. So you have that little strap there. You can actually quickly access the bag itself. Um, I usually don't keep it like that. I usually just store it right here. There's a little bit of uh, hook, uh, hook and loop panel here. So you can just 
store it there. Let's talk about this side first. So here is a, another bunch of admin section that you can put stuff here. So if you need to store some knives or pens or whatever. So I keep a Zippo lighter here. I keep a uh, tactile turn pencil, which I'm in love with that thing as well. More traditional fountain pen, which I use just in case my uh, other pens run out of ink. And I keep a dongle for my MacBook Pro. So this is hook and loop. So you can put another morale patch here or whatever you want to put right here. Maybe put a, like a small uh, admin pouch by 511 and store another pen, knife, whatever. Huge zipper here with a very large mesh panel. This is normally where I keep any extra cards when I'm traveling I won't need immediate access to. So like an emergency uh, credit card, stuff like that. So if we go around to this other side, this actual compartment here can accommodate a 15 inch laptop. I currently have a 14 inch MacBook Pro in here and it fits just fine. I have no issues with that, but it can take a 15 inch laptop really because of the width, not height. I'm sure if you had some kind of slim 17 inch, it would fit as well. But, you know, 15 inches probably pushing it. So very deep compartment in here just to show you what's in there. You now I keep a Moleskine notebook in there and I keep my electronics compartment. This is all the chargers and cords and everything I use to charge all my devices. That's kept down in there. So if you don't wanna keep anything in there, there's actually a more hook and loop panels underneath the zipper itself in there. So if you wanted to put, uh, you know, if you want to just keep uh, maybe some kind of holster or something like that in there, you can put that in there. This entire back panel behind the actual laptop compartment is hook and loop. So you can put a holster or whatever you want to in there. Here's a plus about the inside of this bag. It's tan. All the bags are tan, I believe, even the black ones. So that when you're inside of here, it's easier to see as you're digging around in here. So that's a huge plus. All right, so let's talk some pros and cons about this bag. I already mentioned this earlier, but the main compartment does not fold all the way out. In my book, that's a pro. If you're gonna have an EDC bag, especially bag for travel, like I use this bag for travel, I'm traveling right now. You know, it makes it life easier that you don't have your stuff flying all over the place. That's a huge pro in my book. Another pro is that the slip pockets on this bag, they make sense. There's a lot of times when I get a bag and there's just too many slip pockets. There's too much going on. There's no way to really know how you could use a bag. This keeps the minimalistic micro organization, as I like to call it, is a plus. Now I won't over carry. I won't carry too much stuff. I love the fact that that is, is kept to a minimum. I will say that the straps on this bag are pretty comfortable. This is not gonna be a bag that you take hiking, right? But this is designed for this type of load, right? Laptop, books, that type of stuff. And this is gonna be a comfortable wear all day. These straps are not digging into your neck. Hands down, I mentioned this earlier, but this grab handle is one of my favorite parts of this bag. If I could have this incorporated in any bag that I had, I would just take it because it makes it grabbing this bag when it's lower than you so much easier. Like it's ergonomics and you didn't even think about that for a bag. I really like the grab handle. So this bag is the mute factor, M-U-T-E is there. So, you know, this does not look like it. it's a CCW compartment, which I didn't even mention that is the CCW compartment is accessed by just pulling what they call the rapid access tab. And you can pull this down and access their entire hook and loop CCW panel, which Vertex is known for. Most of their bags are built like this and you can put a holster back here, you know, saying you can't even tell that that's in there. If you do add armor to this, the armor will be added by taking this down. It'd be easy and you know, when it's empty, slipping the armor up in here, make the bag even a little bit more rigid. Premier Body Armor makes uh, body armor that will fit this bag. So does Spartan. There's a lot of companies already making armor that's ready for this bag. So that's always a good thing. Last thing on my pro list that it is super muted, but there are times when you don't want to be so muted, right? So you can take this, I'll take these headphones out. And now I can tuck this in and I can leave this exposed. I can still put the headphones in here. I can even stuff that iPad mini back here if I wanted to. And I could just leave this exposed. So if I needed to quickly access it, that looks pretty cool to have that Molly exposed. And every now and again, you could be a little bit more tactical. Now I will say this, 
it's not all gumdrops and rainbows with this bag. One thing I don't like is the laptop compartment goes all the way to the ground. So this is my laptop. I'm touching it right now. So if you were to throw this down, in theory, you could damage your laptop and me having a MacBook Pro, that all aluminum chassis, that would show up. I haven't had any issues. Um, bef uh, before this MacBook Pro, I carried around a Google Chromebook and that didn't get any dents in it either. So just something to think about. I didn't think it would be as big of a deal as it is, but there is not a knock around sunglass pouch on this bag. So, you know, I am relegated to keeping my sunglasses over in this side pouch, which is cool, but you know, it takes up the entire pouch. It'd be nice to have a knock, a knock around sunglass pouch. It's not that big of a deal because the grab handle's better. I do wish it had a little bit more rigidity, you know, and it would be nice. Um, I guess if I add that armor, that might help. The hook and loop panels are kind of like useless once you load it up, like they're kissing the ground, right? So I could imagine, this could get gunked up. I've had this bag six months. It, mine has not got gunked up, but if you're setting this in mud or something like that, you know, I can imagine that. Another thing is that the water bottle compartment, although these cinches are great that they hide them inside here, these will scratch up sensitive items, right? So I keep my sunglasses in their case, but if I were to put them in here naked, I guess, they could get scratched because of the cinch um, actually being inside the pocket with the item. So that's something that you wanna think about. Finally, I don't know if it's just my bag, these are YKK zippers, but my zippers on this front compartment get caught all the time. My main compartment, I've had no issues, but these front zippers, they probably just need to be lubed or whatever the case may be, but they get caught all the time. Um, they are self-correcting zippers, so I haven't had an issue where they've came off their tracks. All right, so the manufacturer suggested retail price or MSRP on this bag is $169.99. That's how much it is on their website. Usually you can get on their website and get a 15% off deal if you give them your email or something like that. But listen, check the links below because there's usually better pricing on Amazon. Also on Amazon, more colors are available. So like currently as of filming today on their main website, they have two colorways available. This colorway is not available on their website. Uh, whereas on Amazon, they have multiple colorways available and the price, the lowest price on Amazon I saw, I think for the gray version of this bag was $124. And you know, you're not having to give Vertex your email. So, you know, just check those links below, um, see if you're able to grab yourself one. But listen, do you agree? Do you think this should be the EDC bag of 2021? And you know, drop a comment down below. I'm gonna take a break for the rest of this year. So hopefully, if this is your first time here, you decide to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in 2022. For everybody else as a part of Battalion, thanks for coming back. We'll speak soon.